Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onidi Guzman and our topic for today is solving problems involving polynomial functions through factoring. The previous lessons tell us how to solve problems involving polynomial functions through evaluation. That is solving for the value of the dependent variable given the value of the independent variable. Now we will solve the problems using factoring, but the difference is the problems below are more on solving for the value of the independent variable given the value of the dependent variable. Here, we are going to discuss and solve problems together step-by-step step using the lessons we have discussed in the previous days. The problems presented are things that we could relate to real-life situations. Let's consider problem number one. A windmill generates power based on the speed of the wind. This is represented by the polynomial function p of s is equal to s squared minus 5s where s represents the speed of the wind in kilometers per hour. If the wind will generate 50 units of power, what is the speed of the wind? In order to solve this problem, we will identify the given. The given is p of s, which as the function is equal to s squared minus 5s, and p of s is equal to 50. Now that we know our given, we would like to determine what are we looking for. So we want to find out S when P of S is equal to 50. Now, we will substitute the value of P of S is equal to 50, and we will copy our function. Now, so we will subtract both sides of the equation by 50. So we have here 0 is equal to S squared minus 5S minus 50. Applying your factoring method, so you can come up with 0 is equal to s minus 10 times s plus 5. So I will write here below the factoring method later on. So again, so 0 is equal to the product of s minus 10 times s plus 5. Now we will get the values of s. So if s minus 10 is equal to 0, so therefore add both sides of the equation by 10, so s is equal to 10. On the other hand, s plus 5 is equal to 0, subtract both sides of the equation by 5, so s is equal to negative 5. Now, since we don't have negative 5 as the speed of the wind, therefore, we will consider only s is equal to 10. So, therefore, we can say that the speed of the wind should be 10 kilometers per hour to generate 50 units of power. Let's move on to the second problem. A sculptor uses ice blocks to curve the wings of a dragon. The volume, V in cubic centimeters of a block of ice can be modeled by the expression or the function V of t is equal to t cubed plus 8t squared minus 83t, where t represents the thickness of the block of ice in centimeters. How thick is the block of ice with a volume of 630 cubic centimeters? So again, we will identify our given. So the given is B of T is equal to T cubed plus A T squared minus 83T, such that B of T is equal to 630 cubic centimeters. Now we want to find out T when B of T is equal to 630. So again, so what we're going to do is we will equate the B of T is equal to 630, which is the same as T cubed plus A T squared minus 83T. Now, our, our objective is to make the left-hand side as 0. So meaning to say we will subtract both sides of the equation by 630. So we'll come up with 0 is equal to A T cubed plus A T squared minus 83T minus 630. Applying your tactics or factoring tactics, so you can use the factoring by grouping or you can use actually the synthetic division. So again, so the value of 
guys, or 0 is equal to t plus 7 times t plus 10 times t minus 9. So these are the factors of this function t cubed plus 80 squared minus 83t minus 630. Now, since we can use now here the zero property, I can have t plus zero is equal to seven, subtracting both sides of the equation by seven, so t is equal to negative seven. On the other hand, t plus 10 is equal to zero, so subtracting both sides of the equation by 10, so we have here t is equal to negative 10. Finally, we can have t minus 9 is equal to 0. Again, adding both sides of the equation by 9, so we will come up with t is equal to 9. Notice that I cannot use t is equal to negative 7 as well as t is equal to negative 10 because there is no such as neg uh, negative as thickness. So therefore, we will only consider that t is equal to 9. Finally, you can say that the block of ice should be 9 centimeters thick to have a volume of 630 cubic centimeters. So let's move on to problem number 3. A banker models the expected value of TGM News Company in millions. So by the polynomial function, b of n is equal to 3n cubed plus 11n squared minus 204, or 204n minus 20, where n is the number of years in business. If TGM News Company has expected value of 120 million, how long was the company operating? So again, we'll start with b of n is equal to 3n cubed plus 11n squared minus 204n minus 20. So this is the given, and another given is b of n is equal to 120, again, in million pesos. So we want to find out n when b of n is equal to 120. So what we're going to do is we'll simply substitute the value of b of n is equal to 120, which is the same as 3n cubed plus 11n squared minus 204n minus 20. So again, we will subtract both sides of the equation by 120. So we come up with the equation 0 is equal to 3n cubed plus 11n squared minus 204n minus 20 minus 120. Simplifying this, we will come up with 0 is equal to 3n cubed plus 11n squared minus 204n minus 140. Now, so we can factor this one out. So using your factoring skills, you can use actually the synthetic division. So the factors are the following. So 0 is equal to n plus 10 times n plus 2 thirds times n minus 7. So applying the 0 property, we can have here n plus 10 equals 0. Or we can say that, okay, n is equal to negative 10. On the other hand, if I have here n plus 2 thirds is equal to 0, subtracting both sides of the equation by 2 thirds, so n is equal to negative 2 thirds. On the other hand, if n minus 7 is equal to 0, so add both sides by 7, so n is equal to 7. So since we can no longer use t is equal to negative 10 as well as t is equal to negative 3, because there is no such as negative numbers of years. So we can only use that the value of n is equal to 7. So therefore, the company was operating for 7 years. So that ends our discussion. Hopefully that you have learned something in my subject today. Again, this is Teacher Onindu Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.